Who knew this gym-loving, rice and tuna-eating accountant <laughs> would be the deep love I had prayed over for many years? He came into my life as a complete and flattering surprise when he texted me that fateful Saturday morning to go out on a date. <laughs> Especially after I had just lectured you and our workmates about asking girls out in person. <laughs> the first time I ever met you, you took my breath away for so long that it took 635 days to get it back to ask you out. <laughs> Today, standing in front of the incredible and beautiful woman you are, my heart overflows with gratitude that I am the man that gets to say these words to you. You are the most treasured gift that God has brought into my life. I know he knows best what he really did with you. You have been so healing to my heart and soul, and you have held me with such gentleness, kindness, and sacrificial love from the very beginning. Ever since that moment, you enter my life, yeah. my godly woman, has forever changed me for the better. So today, I vow to honour and cherish you for all the days of our lives. I promise to love you unconditionally, to embrace all that you are, and to support you in every endeavour. I will always be by your side through whatever life brings us from this day forward. I give you my solemn yet joyful vow before God, our family and friends. It used to be funny because Deb would take Olivia shopping and I'd go, now make sure you keep an eye on her. Right? Just, that's, someone will take her. Because she's, she's so gorgeous that everyone's going to want to steal her. So. I promise to build a life together with God and always make him the centre of our family. I promise to be by your side as a source of constant strength, no matter what challenges we will face. So today I give you my heart and soul. You are my everything, my partner and my judger. Therefore, according to the will of God, I pronounce you husband and wife. Dan, you may kiss the bride.
comes bursting out. She's like, this guy from my work just asked me out. Like, should I go? And I'm like, well, you know, free meal. Just, just go along. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't think too much of it, but afterwards I could tell there was something a little bit different about this guy. Um, fast forward to April, met him after the Spacey Jane concert. And you were very cute and polite, but I was very shocked seeing Olivia Fian loved up holding hands with a boy. It was just out of this world. Thank <laughs> you.